At this point, um, the picture looks good. You could call it a finished picture if you want, and it actually nothing wrong with that. But sometimes I like to take my picture a little bit further step. Um, I like coloring the line art. Sometimes a black line art's very, it gives the eye sore sometimes. And the black line art in this picture happens to be kind of an eyesore. It's, it's I don't know. It's the black itself just kind of creates too much. So I'm gonna make the picture a little bit softer, and thank God that you separated your separate, um, you separated the line art like the first step of the tutorial, because now it's gonna be so much easier to color it. So I'm basically I'm gonna select my line art layer, and I'm gonna lock in the transparency, and choose colors that um, I'm gonna color it as. Um, you can either set the color to just one single color. Let's say I want the line art to be orange, so I just color everything orange, and now you can see the effect it would give to the picture. Um, it's pretty good for some pictures to color it like just one single color that's other than black. Some people like to color their color the line arts a really 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 dark brown, so it is it's not that like sharp as you know black would be. But um, see, orange doesn't really give it here. It's the whole like monster herself is not based on the color orange. Um, like I have a picture called Hatsune Miku, and since she's based on that weird blue color, it would have been fine to leave the line art that holds color. But because she's rainbow, yes, I'm going to do a rainbow line art. So let me just try out. So this is when you can have some fun, just try out what color kind of colors that you like to choose from. Like for instance, if that was rainbow, and it kind of draws out the rainbow a little bit too much, though. So I'm actually going to manually color every single thing in. So line arts, you can either make it lighter, like let's say if this is blue, I can make the line art a lighter blue. Or you can make it darker, so let's say I want a really, really dark blue. It all depends on what you want. I'm going to make everything darker, so right now I'm just creating a dark blue for there. Um, for the gray, I'm just, I mean for the white, I'm just going to choose a gray for the line art. like so. But because you separated your line art, this would be a lot easier. Um, there's nothing much I can say other than just wasting your time by watching me do, while I'm just showing you how I do this. So I'm just going to zoom out here and just um, take out the background so you can see that this image is transparent. And I hope you enjoyed this, um, not necessarily a tutorial, but just showing you how I work. Um, I hope it's good, and see ya.